In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Wix website without using AI. So once you click the get started button or you sign up for Wix and you have an account and you kind of land here where you can create your first site, depending on the flow that you're in, it might land you on the next page. But if we hit create a new site and we're just building our first Wix website, it's going to take us to this page. And this could be in dark mode or light mode. It doesn't matter. But it kind of feels like you have to start this chat with AI and start your website this way. Well, they don't really make this look like a button, but you can see here it says set up without chat. That's how you can skip this first section of setting up a website with AI. If you just want to get to templates and build your own site and not use this AI stuff, we click on set up without chat. Now, we do go through this a little bit, even though you can skip it, I would recommend at least narrowing down your search of potential site templates. So if I wanted to do like a, uh, a photography site, I could type in photography and kind of look at what comes up. And maybe I want to do a photography portfolio. So I'm going to click on that one at least and hit continue. This is kind of the classic way of creating a Wix website. Now it's going to load us into the dashboard first and give us some options to name our website or anything like that. Now we can still skip that if we want to. And what we can do to go straight to the templates and the design of our site, because that's kind of the fun part, right? Is skip this as well on the apps. We can always come back to this stuff and then continue to our dashboard. In the upper right hand section, there's a little button called design site. Now we click on design site and it's gonna ask us how we wanna do it. And we gotta skip that AI thing again here, you see you can generate a site with AI, or we can just pick a template. Now we're going to pick a template here on the right hand side. And now we have all kinds of templates we can pick from. Now these are results for uh, photography portfolio because we put in photography portfolio, we can change that to whatever we want. You're not limited to any of these, you can actually look at all the templates here on Wix, even business and service templates. Uh, store templates with e-commerce already built in. There's creative ones. That's kind of where we are with the photography section. But there's all kinds of templates on here. But if you give it a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of a category like, oh, a portfolio for my photography, it'll give you some templates that probably fit a little bit better than others. And so we can sort uh, these by recommended here or newest or even top templates. And we can scroll down and kind of look and see if we can find one that we really like. Maybe I like the simplicity of this one here. You can view that template or you can even go to edit it. Let's go ahead and click view on this one. And what happens is it basically pulls up this uh, template as a website for you to view. And you can kind of click through it. I don't want to edit this site yet. I just want to view it. So I'm going to hit the X button here. And I'm going to just kind of view this site. Now I see that it's got like a little swipe animation to this header area. As I scroll down, I start to see these different uh, portfolio pieces that I could click on to see more. If I click on it, I can see how each of these pages will be set up. If uh, it's my photography portfolio, I'm probably putting in some different uh, photos to maybe this project type of thing. We see we have a, a header up here with some navigation. We can even put in a bio page. And so I could put in a picture of myself, some details. This actually looks really clean and nice. I really like this template. We can also see it on mobile. So you can kind of preview that up here as well and switch to a mobile view, get a feel for how this site looks on mobile, how the menu structure works and how you can click through everything. So you can see a lot about the template. And then what you can do is either say, okay, you know what? I want to use this template for the site I just created. So this big blue button up here, edit this site. So I can start editing this and making it my own and personalizing it or I can say, you know what, I didn't care for this one. I can go back to the templates here in the upper left. And that's what we're going to do. You see, we can go back here and we can look and we can say, you know what, I actually like this one better. I don't even think I need to view it. I can just hit the edit button from here. So what happens when you hit the edit button? Well, let's go ahead and do that and see. It's going to edit and make us log in. So for some reason, I wasn't logged in. I'm assuming you are. So let's log in really quick. And once you're logged in, it's going to take you to the site editor for the template that you just chose. You're probably already logged in, so it probably took you right to it. Uh, I recently changed my password, so it might have made me re-log in. So now we're in the editor, and there are AI things here within the editor 
but for the most part, you can avoid them. Assuming that, you know, you made it to this video because you wanted to avoid setting up your site with AI. So here's another area, right? You can actually fill in some details here, but what this does is it generates personalized content for you with AI. And if you don't want that at all, you really want your own control, just look for the X button, look for the skip button. In the upper right, we can hit this little X button and it's going to just kind of keep the content as the default fill-in content for uh, the site. Now, in this case, it did kind of add uh, like my site port uh, photography portfolio because we probably had that as a title of the site. Just, you know, from skipping everything, it had to put something in as the title. But otherwise, all this content is essentially the content that came with the template itself. And right now I'm at a 50% view. Once I start clicking on things, it's probably going to zoom in and have me edit stuff. You can see the zoom here in the upper right. And so if I click this, you see I zoom right in and now I'm editing some different areas. And the way that Wix works is you basically have the back end of your site that's all on the dashboard. So if we go to site down to my dashboard, uh, we can actually, and if I open this in a new tab, if I can, it doesn't look like I maybe can right click on that, but it does open in a new tab if you click dashboard. And so I clicked that and I have the editor as a tab and then also the dashboard as a tab. And so you can connect custom domains here. You can purchase a domain through Wix. You can go down here on the left hand side. And this is, remember, this is all the behind the scenes stuff of your website. And so we could go down here to settings even. And we could change the business info, change you know, search engine optimization settings, adjust domains, site member settings. There's all kinds of website settings here. So website settings might be one that you consider. And you can see that our site name is literally my site too because I didn't give it a name. So you can change the site name here. You can even change the site URL. And so right now it's a free site. So if you didn't buy a domain yet, you're not paying for a plan which is how most of us start our sites, you can change uh, the sort of the URL to that. And to change this front end, you would go to your account settings and change that. And then to change the back end, you can change it right here. And then of course you can connect a domain to make it branded, you know, myportfolio.com, right? But for this uh, time period when it's free, you're going to have some kind of prefix .wixsite.com slash the title of your site or whatever you put in here as your URL. And you can also the fav icon, change it here. Uh, that's kind of what shows up in your browser tab at the top. And then if you share to, if you share your website or your website gets shared to Facebook, Twitter, etc., you can actually upload an image here that shows uh, when you share that. And then we won't get into the rest of this really, but this is, like I said, the back end of your website. You can always go to the home tab of the dashboard and then in the upper right of the home tab is design site which takes you back to the editor we still have that tab open over here so in the editor we have a lot of different areas in the upper right you can see publish so if you want your site to be public you can hit publish and it's going to be public at that free url that we had looked at just a second ago you can also preview your site. So we can preview the site without all of this editing stuff around it. Just like we viewed the template a second ago, we can preview it here. We can also save our site. And then on the left-hand side is our tool menu where we can add elements, uh, which is basically everything you could possibly want to add to your site. Kind of click and drag them out here and put them in different sections. And speaking of sections, we actually can add sections as well. It'll zoom out our site here on the right and then we can add different sections. There's some pre-built stuff. There's some AI generated stuff, which you probably want to avoid again, right? And then you can click these and just drag them out here and literally just uh, drag and drop different sections to our site. And we also have the pages and the menu. So the navigation to your site, all the different pages to your site. And all of these pages have that backend information. So if we go to the home page and click the three dots, we can see we have settings and SEO and social share and page background. So if we were to click on settings, that's where you can start to rename your pages, adjust layouts with header and footer or just standard. 
and adjust permissions and SEO and stuff in here. So kind of the back end of your pages. We can adjust the themes to our site. So our overall site design, what's the theme? What are the colors that we use? What are the text themes? So if we click on that, you can see that we have a specific heading font, a specific paragraph font. This is like overall being able to kind of edit the styles of your site, but you can always click in here to your site and kind of zoom in and start to edit different sections where you have, for instance, an element here that is just a text block. And when we have that selected, we can do all kinds of different things with it, whether we're scaling it in and out, whether we're rotating it, we can push it down our page, we can expand it, or we can look at our options down here. Anything with these little stars are gonna be your AI tools. So if you don't wanna use those, you don't have to. We can edit the text. So we can literally click this and edit the text and it highlights the text. We can click and highlight it, you know, just like any word uh, processing program. And you can highlight different portions. You can highlight it all. And you can either adjust the style of it just quickly saying that, hey, this is a certain heading on my site. Or you can then, regardless of your site theme, change the font, change the font size, bold, italicize, change your text color, even highlight your text, add links. And so all of your different text settings are right here. And so any object or element here that you can click and select that you've added to your site has options that will pop up where you can quickly add animation to them, add links, uh, even with imagery. Uh, this, in, in this case, is a gallery. And so galleries have settings as well. What, what happens with this gallery is it probably has multiple images in here. You could manage the media of that gallery. So if this is a, a photography website, you click Manage Media. You can add in images here that you can cycle through. And that gallery has just been added as a section. You can see plenty of options here on the right-hand side. We exit out of that. And you see there's even an arrow over here. And so with this gallery, we can edit the settings of the gallery as well, which... We already managed the media, but you have layout options. So we can change this gallery from a slideshow to a grid of the images. We'll keep it on slideshow for now. And then you can edit the settings of that. So when you click on an item, what does it do? Does it open an expand mode? Does it open a link? Does nothing happen? Uh, what are the social settings here? What's the design of this gallery? All of these different options. So you can see that you can get very detailed here. You know, avoiding any AI, this is just kind of an overview of Wix, and you can edit all of this stuff. And so the main goal of this was to show you how you can set up your site without using any AI. And there are AI options even here in the editor that will pop up, you know, asking you, do you want some AI text? Do you want to do an AI image here? And you can avoid all of that and just really edit the site and have all the control for yourself. Now, one other big thing, we showed you how to preview the site on mobile. Well, there is a mobile design side. You can do desktop design or mobile design, and you can switch right up here in the editor, and that's going to switch your site to this mobile side, which is where you can edit things like that menu, and it's the same thing. You click on elements, you edit the menu, edit the settings of it, edit the design of it, and you can move things around. So when your site is kind of scaled down to mobile, uh, it's very responsive and it works for you. And so that's how you can switch between the two. And then you can just preview that website up here in the upper right from time to time and kind of see what it is. And then, you know, click through this slideshow and edit things. And that is how you can set up your Wix website without using AI.